Okay, so this is a June 2015 question on momentum. It says, sphere mass 3 kilogram moves with speed of 8, and this collides with another sphere of mass 5 kilogram moving in the same direction, but this one has a speed of 2. The coefficient of restitution is a third. Find the speed of A and the speed of B after the collision. So I always start my ones by drawing a little diagram of before and after the collision. So we've got two spheres. This one, and it, we're both moving in the same direction. The mass of this one is 3, mass of the second one is 5. So we've got A, B, A, and B. The initial speed of this one is 8, and the initial speed of this one is 2. Afterwards, we don't know which direction they're moving in, so we can just assume they're still going in this direction from left to right. So we can call this one V of A and call this one V of B, the speed after. So to find out the speed of each one, we're going to use the conservation of momentum, which states that M of AU plus M of BU mass of a v plus mass of b v so mass of a times initial speed of a is 3 times 8 mass of b initial speed 5 times 2 mass of a final speed we don't know so we call that v a mass of b final speed we don't know v b okay working this out this is going to give us 34 is 3 e v a plus 5 v b and that'll be our first equation two unknowns so we can't solve it yet now the next part we're going to do is we're going to use this factor that the coefficient restitution is a third so we're going to use the law of restitution this states that e equals v b minus v a all over u a minus u b Now we know what E is, it told us that in the question, E was a third. So we can place E with a third. VB and VA we don't know. Initial speed of A was 8 and B was 2. 6, bring it up and bring this 3 over here, it's a cross multiply. Cross multiply these, cross multiply those, so we get 6 equals 3 VB minus 3 VA. And then we've got our second equation there. So now we've got two equations, often ends up like this, one equation here and two to solve simultaneously. So if we have a look at those two equations, I'm just going to write them out again. So I'm going to bring this one down and put it under here. That's our equation one. The bit that's the same is the VAs. Are they different signs? So we're going to add, we often add. Adding these up, we get 40. These disappear. 3VB add 5VB, 8VB. So VB divided by 8 is 5. We're not finished. We now need to substitute this back into one of these equations to finish it off. So I'm going to substitute back into matter. We'll do the second one. So substitute into 1. So we get 34 equals 3VA plus 5VB, so 5 times 5. 34 is 3VA plus 25. So 3VA is, sorry, 9. So VA is just 3. Turn the light back on. Now, part B asks you to calculate the impulse exerted by A on B. Now, with this question, it's really important to notice which bit it is saying on, because you're looking at on B, so we're focusing on the letter B. Okay, so to do this, formula for impulse equals mv minus mu and we're looking at on b so we're focusing on object b so the mass of b 
was 5. And the final speed of B, we calculated to be 5. The mass of B again is 5. The initial speed was 2. 25 take away 10 is 15.